Hey guys, Hop here for TFB TV at SHOT Show 2024. We are in a grayish room looking at a 5.7 very early prototype. Yeah, well, first of all, thanks for coming out and doing the interview. What we're doing is the original NATO project in the late 90s and early 2000s, it was spec'd out. They wanted a handgun and a PDW that used the same rounds to be a system that support troops could carry. It never really went into full production. HK had the, U the UCP and the MP7. Uh, FN had the uh, 5.7 handgun and the P90, and there was a couple other submissions on it. But then the project kind of died. And then leaving a couple of guns available that people enjoy. We have actually, we think we have done what was the requirement for the project. We took the Rock 5.7 pistol as the first one, and now we have the X5.7 PDW. And what it does, the nice thing about it is it uses the Rock 5.7 magazines, uses the Rock 5.7 fire control group, and FYI, we've already talked to Franklin Armory, we're working with them on our binary trigger for it, which I think will be pretty sweet. And as far as ejection, extracting all the little tiny, smaller pieces internally, they are all shared with the Rock 5.7. So you can have your sidearm, take the same magazine as your PDW weapon. This gun is probably about 90% engineered. There's a couple small changes we're gonna make to it, but what you see is pretty much what you're gonna get. You have usually the standard AR-15 charging handle. This is the Radian, which we like. It's ambidextrous. Um, it's very easy to use, but you can change it out. So if you have another AR-15 charging handle, it's free to change it out. It's going to come with front and rear MBUS Pro, um, backup sights, no optic. And our goal, we have a lot of people are like, where are we on this project? The, the engineering and development is about 90% done. We plan on add, adding last round bolt hold open and a couple other small features, most likely a safety. What we're doing now is there's four major molded products. We're working on the molds. This is a high-end 3D printed model. We've used it for testing and validation of the design. We're working on the molds. It takes about 10 months to create the molds, start injecting and make sure the flow of the polymer is right. Once we have the molds down, then we're gonna come back to the R&D, start assembling this, and once the whole gun works together complete, we have all the features we want, we're gonna release it. And it doesn't matter, you know, some people are like, well, I'm voting for this one doesn't matter we're doing it right even if it's last place um, we love I don't think there's any risk of it being last place but. I, I know so this is not like uh, you know like a drop-in chassis or something for the rock it's, by seven this is a ground-up pistol the, or the, ground-up gun that uses some of the uh, design the, elements of the rock that, that's it when you design a gun one of the first things you have to consider is the magazine right a lot of times a gun is designed around a magazine think like the p90 right that you design the magazine design a gun around it well the nice you thing guys was, already have a, we a already had, we already magazine had, for we that had the magazine so we had fire control, we had ejection extraction. It was a matter of stretching out the frame, making the appropriate size, coming up with a design for the top cover, um, and then integrating the charging handle, because this charge is totally different than the rocks, totally different gun. Integrating the the controls into it. So this isn't, I mean, this isn't just like a rock slide shrouded in plastic. It's actually a, yeah, you know, it's, a fully it's built up. It's its own one. unique, now I share some parts, but it's own unique design. Our next part of the project is to do the four different molds for the four major pieces. You have the receiver, which works, and you follow the seam along here. From here to the front and the grip, that's the receiver. We have the top cover, we have the brace, and then this right here, it's not its not part of the receiver. This actually attaches, you see a, a tri-picatinny, but you can put M-locks on there, you can put one picatinny, you can do, but this front mounting piece, you can take off and we'll have a lot of customized pieces that you can kind of make it the, one, the way you want it. A lot of the parts we already have, the cost baked in on the other projects. We're able to bring this to market for $9.99. Okay. And so we won't commit to any sort of like uh, availability date, but it is no. uh, inevitable. You guys will I make this I can tell you we want to bring it out now, but we know the reality of that, right? right? This is like one of the greatest projects. I don't know if you guys saw the, uh, the uh, video on the Aberdeen project. JJ is myself, Julian and Ed, we're JJ Capital. We've allocated a good amount of funds to PSA to do the Aberdeen project. This is the first result of the Aberdeen project. We want to hire some of the best and the brightest engineers, some young kids like Hunter and Max is over there. And if anyone else is interested in working on projects like this, we have funding, we, uh, we have very nice facilities, where it, whether you're a project manager, whether you're an engineer, whatever you want to do, aberdeen.project at palmettostatearmy.com, you can be a part of more projects like this. Thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned, we've still got a lot of stuff to come from SHOT Show 2024 on TFB TV and TFB TV Showtime, including probably at least a couple more guns for PSA.